This is problem 12-101 out of our textbook, and just looking at the picture that comes along with it, it sure appears to be a ballistics or a constant acceleration kind of problem. And that is what one of the problems I wanted to work. And initially, this problem looks a little bit more complicated uh, when I just look at the picture, but it turns out it's maybe, because of what they've given us, it's a simpler problem. Let's read the problem statement. We have a projectile is fired from the platform at point B, the shooter fires the gun from point A at an angle of 30 degrees. Determine the muzzle speed of the bullet, that would be VA quantity labeled here, if the bullet hits the projectile at C. Now looking at this picture and reading the data, I wonder myself, well wait a minute, when was this projectile fired? Were they fired at the same time? they didn't say. Was this project projectile fired level? They didn't say. Uh, how fast was this thing going? They didn't say. But then I look over here at point C and I realize they told us exactly where that point is. It is 20 meters away from the shooter's feet and it's 10 meters above the shooter's feet. Not above the gun, but 10 meters above the shooter's feet. They told us exactly where point C is and so here's what we're going to presume. Uh, we don't know exactly when this was fired so that this projectile makes it to point C at the same time as the bullet. Somebody else is in charge of that. We don't care. So really, the projectile is almost irrelevant. The question has become, how fast must the bullet be going such that when we fire it at an angle of 30 degrees, it will pass through that point. So it's actually a, a sort of a deceptively simple problem. And so uh, looking at a state diagram, there are clearly two states in the problem, a state zero and a state one. And this would be, and the data that we've been given is that at this state zero, we're going to, this. Uh, the problem says we're going to put our xy coordinate system at point A. So x equals 0, y equals 0. At state 1, x equals 20, y equals 10 minus the 1.8. Okay, and V A is at state zero. We don't know it, and that's the that's the quantity that we were asked for. The problem doesn't say anything about time yet, and so let's not bring it in necessarily. And of course, the transition phenomena is a equal constant. Now, looking at what we have here. You know, we might be tempted to use an ADS equal VDV form, but we really don't deal with velocity in two different places and we don't care. And so I think we probably are going to be using one of the time-based equations, time-based equation in the X, time-based equation in the Y. So I suspect that T is going to sneak into the problem. Let's just make note that T equals zero here and T equal unknown there. Not requested, but unknown. And so we can start the problem either by writing x versus t, x versus t motion, or y versus t. What's going to be nice, we'd, we'd really like to write equations that involve, multiple, involve lots of knowns and only a few unknowns. So let's start off with the x equation. Okay x traveling between 0 and 20 and looking at the equation sheet we will be writing this equation in the x direction where acceleration in the x direction is 0 no acceleration of gravity there and we have initialized the problem so the t0 equals 0 and so we're gonna have our x at the final point is equal x at our beginning point plus the velocity at the beginning point in the x direction times time, and our acceleration term went to zero. 
plugging in x equal 20, xa equals 0, va is unknown, but the velocity in the x direction is our speed, va, times the cosine of our inclination angle, 30 degrees, multiplied by t. And if we look at this, this is one equation where va and t are unknowns, both apparent. So that's one equation, two unknowns. Now we'll write the y direction equation. Okay, and um, okay, they sort of lied to us in the solution in the earlier. They said point A was going to be the origin. And so if that's true, then YA is going to be zero and YC is going to be 10 minus that 1.8. In the end, their equation will be right, but they didn't really follow what they said in the statement up here that says point A was going to be the origin. So we're going to make point A the origin. Our acceleration in the y direction, we're going to write the position equation in the y direction. So again, back to the equation sheet. We'll be writing this equation, but we'll write it in the y direction where that acceleration term is minus g. And so, the final y value, y at point C. The final, or the starting y value, the speed in, and starting speed in the y direction only, times time, plus one half a t squared, but a is going to become minus g, or minus 9.81. And so, the, if we say y a equal zero, And we say YC is 10 minus 1.8. We'll put an equal sign there, dot, dot, dot. You can see it all amounts to the same thing. But we're just following what we said we do in the problem statement up here where we said we would set the origin at A. We'll follow that a little more precisely. But in the end, this equation is right. And our velocity in the Y direction would be from the picture, the velocity at A times the sine of 30 degrees, multiplied by T, plus 1 half, minus 9.81, times T squared. In this equation, we have VA is an unknown, and we have T are unknowns. One equation, two unknowns, but these are not new unknowns, so we have a total of two equations, two unknowns, clearly solvable. And so we can do whatever algebra is necessary, and we'll, we will skip that, to solve for both T and VA. Um, and let's see. Given this equation over, what they did was this equation over here. Ah, they took the first equation and solved it for... Let's see, VA as a function of T, and plugged it into this equation. That's just algebra. We're not going to sweat the algebra that they did. You can do algebra. T turns out to be 0.82 seconds, and VA of 28 meters per second. 28 meters per second, if a meter is uh, about a yard, which is about 3 feet. So that's about 90 feet per second which is a little over 60 miles an hour. That's kind of slow. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's somewhat slow, but that's the way the numbers worked out for this problem. Okay, and that ends this problem.